Tim, did you see the uh, the Takashi Six Nine uh, documentary? I didn't know. Um, is it on Hulu? I actually it's, think uh, I it's, started it's, it. Uh, yeah, I think it's on. It's uh, Showtime. I think Show Max or something like that. I'm gonna Ma- watch it because I'm such a fan of the music. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy? The fact that you're not a fan of the music is really what's like. This kid literally, literally understood social media. He yeah. understood the way people thought in a way that was almost freakish. Down to yeah. the rainbow hair, the way he, you know, when you watch, he 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 co-opted the the um the the bloods to give him this kind of street credibility, and then when he he snitched on the feds, got him and he snitched on it. He made it OK to snitch like he was just doing videos on Instagram like, yeah, I snitched on them. And it was a situation. And I'm like, the fact that you can even change the perspective of that snitching is OK or snitching is something. It's like shit is bonkers. I don't it's know if he generated. changed the perspective on that, though. But with those young kids who follow him, you're, you're, OK, you're, OK, yeah, maybe, maybe for like I'm, the 14 this is what year I'm saying, old. But you, you, yeah, but you grew up where you, 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 mean. you know what I'm saying? But those young kids yeah. are like that, that follow him, like 700 million people yeah. on YouTube, like and and they, and he says it's OK to snitch. And now they're going, it's OK to snitch. He also did give a reason for it, though. I think he said. Like, and again, I, I don't know the whole story, but he's like, hey, you kidnapped me. You tried to run like he well, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. reasons um, but that, that, that don't felt- make it OK, because he yeah. once you start banging, you signed up. It's it's just like the army. You once you put on the suit, nigga, you in the team, whatever yeah. happened, happened. Yeah. And so you fake. start flagging, you start banging, you throwing up your set, whatever go down after that, you joined up for yeah, yeah. You, so you, you don't for- get to say I'm a civilian now. So you have to handle it according to the rules of what yes, you signed up. Yes, you for. decided I mean, to a, join that squad. Don't yeah, fucking. An, there is an ethic. They even uh, even though it might be a little barbaric, is there's still an ethic to it? There's rules to it. And the, the only fact reason it's he, called barbaric is because they don't have the money and the funds to make it look like a fucking golf club. They have the set. They have rules, regulations, the way it's supposed to be done. That's yeah. why I'm, I don't throw up no fucking signs because I'm a civilian. Yeah, yeah. If you you're wearing up signs stuff, and shit. Yeah, you, you live in, in that lifestyle, yeah, yeah. so you yeah. signed up, boy. But Andre, you were in a, a, a gang of sorts when you did that uh, off Broadway production of Greece, right? When you were in middle school, you know what school. I'm saying? I had to do my work, <laughs> fucking <laughs> baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you were in middle school, Andre can't even snap. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't snap. You throw it in here. We hey, heard you. You can't I snap. It. I did it. I did it. I did it. You Come suck. On, yeah. <laughs> How you gonna be a jet and you can't snap? Yeah, you know, son. It's a long time. You know about that? Uh, the documentary is called uh, "Super Villain: The Making of Takashi yeah. 69 yeah, it was, on uh, Showtime. He's you a will, smart guy, though. Yeah, you really, you will really dig it because I'm not a fan yeah. of his music either. But it was just like I, just, I just kept hearing about this the guy, and I said, let me watch this shit, and it was in insane the way he manipulated yeah. the the public to the point where. He's literally almost untouchable because he he's uncancelable cancelable. You know what I mean? So the same thing that makes people able to be canceled is the same thing that makes you uncancelable. Yeah. Like, and he, I was saying, no, I would say he, he's a guy, but he has other you have to uh, because the people he told on. And again, I'm not in that. Yeah. Oh, he's getting smoked. I, mean, I would be a smoked. snitch in a second. But if it was prison <laughs> or tattle, I tattle in a second. But I would tell them that when I joined. <laughs> right, Look, right, right. I, 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 I need some help because I can't fight. But if something happens, I am telling an immediate. <laughs> you're, you're doing your hour special at the Miss Cough Theater, and you go, listen, guys, there's yeah. Scootate, <laughs> Bloods, but. uh. If they ask me any questions, I'm telling on you. So they, they would uh, know that immediately. As soon as I called out for question, they'd be like, where are you going? I would be like to tell on you. That's where I'm going. <laughs> He's like, they'll be like, that's why we didn't tell you nothing. All right. Have fun. We'll see you when you get back. Um, but yeah, that looks bad for them. That looks yeah. bad for them because like when in the old and I'm not saying I want anything bad to happen to the guy. I don't care. You know, I'm again, I have no horse in that race. Right, right. With, like the mob and the reason people are oh, going to get you. Yeah, eventually. But maybe they won't. I mean, who knows? Yeah. Like the mob, Sammy the Bull came out of. Yeah, uh, he's doing a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. He's doing a podcast and talking about his murders yeah, on the Sammy podcast. The <laughs> yeah, Sammy Gravano. Yeah. Ain't Straight that some up. white shit? Damn. That is the whitest shit I've ever fucking heard. <laughs> That's the whitest damn thing he's in the straight, world. He's straight talking oh about his murders. Oh, my God. 
I don't want to hear a single white man tell me a goddamn thing about shit let, ever let me again. Tell you something. Listen, listen. Y'all got some nigga doing a podcast let, let about let me bodies. Tell you yeah, I'm on, I signed up for his Patreon. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah. I'm a buddy. <laughs> Personally, I, oh, I, I can't oh, wait well, for well, him well. to do an ad read for DraftKings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, my, and y'all mad at OJ. Suck, my dick. I love OJ. First of all, you know what I love about OJ right now is that he's on Twitter, yeah. but he's saying all these very woke things so that you yeah, can't be now? angry at what he's saying except for the fact that it's coming from OJ. So when OJ talks uh, about police brutality and he talks uh, about black lives yeah. <laughs> and he's on there angrily, like as if he didn't murder two people. Who, who, who what, what do you do? Shut up, Harry. What do you do? Leave the man alone. Sammy the Bull got a fucking podcast. That's true. <laughs> I, I'd sign up for the OJ podcast. We just want to hang out with OJ because I want to just smash on his giant head for like hours. Jesus, he's got the biggest head I've ever seen in my life. Sammy's, we- Sammy's interesting, though. The stories he tells... And, and, and he always leaves a little like he'll go, yeah, hey, something happened to him. Like he won't actually. Play <laughs> but, but he did. All, he did kind of admit that in court. He had to. I, I think he had to own like 19 murders. But yeah, 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 yeah. And then he turned on Gotti. But he's the guy who snitched. But again, he did it because Gotti turned on him. He heard. Yeah. yeah. Tape, and it was like, what are you going to do? Gotti's ready to throw you to the. So anyway, but he's the guy that kind of came out. And I think he's like, come get me. And yeah. that people know that like he's a problem. Sammy yeah, the fucking problem. Like so, they was like, "We're not trying to fuck with this guy and get caught up." <laughs> also, Rico everybody on some code from twenty five yeah. years ago to everybody's years moved ago. on. Like, hey, we're we're stealing cable and data, and like, yeah. you know, it's all hacker shit it's now. We're game. not worried about yeah. cigarette cartons. But yeah, Dante, he's a good storyteller, though. It's it's actually he's a really interesting. I I don't belong to the Patreon, but I listen to some of the clips. I'm like, he's a fucking interesting guy. Like, they're really good stories. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, well I mean, how do you how do you get interesting? You get interesting by by doing, doing shit, interesting murdering stuff. 19 people. Yeah, yeah. you get a yeah. you get a couple murders that make you a real interesting guy. Yeah, Jesus, fucking podcast, and it's yeah. killing. His podcast is killing. Oh, I'm and sure. A mound of niggas in jail <laughs> for bubble gum. Nigga. They should Can't be po- they, sh- they should be podcast. Oh, I don't want to yeah. hear shit from nobody. It should yeah. be podcast. That's but, what I'm so saying. The, t- t- Takashi six nine like the the problem though is that it's a generation of people who uh, don't it, give there's a no shit integrity like there's a whole anything. generation of men young men especially that has no integrity about stealing or snitching or like doing rock loyalty shit. no loyalty yeah. no code no nothing it's just it's crazy it's just like and the amount I'll tell you this is the same thing there was this kid uh years ago who had taken uh, he had taken uh, a bit like one of Patrice's bit and did a video for it. And somebody sent right. it to me and I called him. But the it was kid Kane, had, the, Carter. Kane Carter. Yeah. And we so the guy, but he was just a, he was a fan. He was a fan of the Black Phillip show and he was a fan of 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 that. And he just did it as a bit like it yeah. was his and never gave credit. Right. And I said, look, he this is wrong. It's somebody else's bit, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. And they um his fans came at me, yo, you old motherfucker. Why you ain't got no why you ain't got no neck? Like every day, you know, dick. Where's your neck? Uh, you know, they smashed me five like I had five hundred fucking DMs every day I woke up with these motherfuckers. But it was like nobody ever said so you what he motherfucker. so what he took he's doing a joke. What does it matter? Like there was no no uh, idea of like shit. what's right you or ain't wrong. Got no neck. <laughs> Got a neck, motherfucker. I think I several neck tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> so did he ever? Did he ever? I remember that yeah, vaguely. Funny. Remember that happened. Did he ever yeah. talk about it? I Man, well, he, he came on the show. He actually came on the show. He came yeah. on our show and he apologized. And then and then uh, you know he was like he was just a fan, and that was kind of right. he was saying that that's kind of how they meet each other like this on this internet thing these youtubers they diss each other and then they go back and forth and people list you know kind of like you know like wrestling you you, you act like a heel or whatever and they yeah. go back and forth they generate but they get followers on both sides they get everybody and then they do a collaboration yeah and you know, and he was he was. But I mean, it was just weird to me that there was no understanding of like, this is not yours. Like just a basic fundamental. This is not your material. This is you've done nothing. You just scraped the cream off the top and you and you just took it like whatever. he, we, you, you know how we work on 
being honest and getting up on stage and honing your craft and, yeah. and it's for somebody to just take the cream off it's, it's real crazy but that's the thing with Takashi 6 9 it's like these kids are so young your followers give you validation I was wondering what you thought about that do you think that, that it's going to swing back or or no, whatever is whatever way it's swinging, it will never swing back. Yeah. No, no, that language and all that stuff, it, it will never go yeah. back because with every generation, as they push us down the assembly line into the garbage where we belong, <laughs> believe me, as you get older, nobody behind you gives a fuck. They don't, yeah. they don't want to hear yeah. it. They don't want to hear as we're like on a conveyor belt going away, going, but yeah, but you don't understand if you start punishing yeah. people for what they think and they're like, shut up, old man, get the fuck out of here. Young man school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't.